Welcome into my garage. I do like these balls a lot. I ordered a brand new Spawnier golf net. Somewhere here. Welcome back to another video. Today, follow me around for a day in the life of a golf enthusiast. I've got a couple of exciting things happening today which I can't wait, I can't wait to get underway. All right, so the other thing I wanted to show you guys was there's been some golf balls that I've been really interested in using and it's these Wilson Staff Duo Softs. Um, I'm actually a really, really big fan of them. And I went on Marketplace and I actually found two case of these balls or two boxes of these balls plus two sleeves so a total of 30 balls I ended up paying 30 bucks for them this guy was getting rid of them they were brand new and again it's kind of just being opportunistic I think um, where you can you know you don't always have to shop at the most expensive places because how many golf balls do you go through in a year you know, I know I go through a few so these balls are actually pretty good nice finish on them I like the soft feel. They are actually quite soft. And the best thing about these is they're a really affordable golf ball. So Wilson, you've done a great job with this. I, I do like these balls a lot. I went and ordered a brand new Spawnia golf net. And it just arrived today. So I'm going to unpack this. I'm going to set it up really quickly. I'm going to take a look at it. Maybe hit a couple of shots. I've also ordered a golf mat to hit off, which is kind of cool. It's a tri-golf mat. So it has three different surfaces to hit from which is going to be really cool to practice off um, and I also got some kind of side protectors to stop in any bad shots shanks all those types of things so that should all be in this box here I'm gonna go ahead and unpack it set it up hit a few shots and give you my thoughts on what this golf nets like I'm super excited about this <laughs> Seven foot by seven foot, two meters by two meters, and I think it's 2.1 meters high. They did have a bigger size to get, but I, I just couldn't, I wouldn't have been able to fit it in my garage. So, also got these safety nets for the sides, so they kind of protect the ball, and if you have any bad shots and things like that. It comes in this really cool, like, bag, so you can carry this around. Setup's all done, took me about an hour. I absolutely love it. Take a look at it. So excited about having this at home. I can now finally make more content. I can get better at golf. And just, you know, turn this into a little bit of a man cave and a chill out area for all my friends when they come over. But I'm gonna hit a few balls and see what it's like. I just got a seven iron. These are real golf balls too, so you get a sense for the noise in here. That is so much fun, man. I could do this for hours, and I probably will. The noise is pretty good in here. Uh, the product is amazing. I'll do a full review in a separate video. I'm gonna hit a few more golf balls. I'm off to the gym to get some workouts in. And who knows, maybe I'll play some golf today.
right, had a good workout. I feel really good. Those landmine workouts for my golf game, I'm, I honestly can't speak highly enough of them. If you guys are interested in seeing what that workout is, I do have a PDF that I downloaded from the internet. Um, I'm happy to share the link. Let me know in the comment section. But that workout, unbelievably good. Something that I want to test out on the on the Spawnia net at home. So stay tuned for that and let's go eat something because I'm starving, man. All right, on the menu today, Chef Denim. Some barramundi, some fish, white fish, mashed potato, asparagus, a little bit of ranch, some bread. <coughs> Garlic bread on the side. Hmm, it's gonna be good. So my diet normally consists of lots of seafood. I'm a pescatarian by choice. Uh, I'm proud of it. I really, again, uh, I'm starting to just become comfortable with who I am, but man, I could get this in. Big gym workout. I'm going to go hit some balls on on the Spawnia in a minute. I want to test out this mobile golf, this mobile golf launch monitor. For now, I'm going to finish this. Get into some training after that. I hope you're enjoying this type of content. If you are, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, leave a like if that's the case. And um, maybe tell me what your go-to meal is. Mm. I'm gonna finish this. I'll see you guys soon. Time for some dessert. You thought I was done eating. Come on, man. I had a big workout. Boy's a grown boy here. Look at that. High protein, I love these chocolate puddings, wicked sister. Mm. All right guys, welcome into my garage and take a look at this, man. Setup is so cool. Um, I'm really happy to have this at home. I don't have to go anywhere. I can get my shots in here. Obviously from time to time I'll get to the range, but this is gonna serve me really well. So. I'm going to do a couple of things in this training session. I am working on getting heaps of width in my backswing and trying not to, I talked on a recent video where I had a lesson and I was folding this arm and something that I'm working on with a swing coach is keeping that arm, you know, as straight as possible in the backswing, generating heaps of power and, uh, so, you know, so, so I can develop a more consistent strike and yeah, just something I'm working on. I'm gonna start off with a little bit of a gap wedge. After I'm done with the warm up and hitting a few shots, I'm then gonna get a golf simulator app that I found on the app store for iPhones. Uh, it's called Golf Boy. I'm actually really excited to try it out because obviously um, investing into this, don't have any money to buy a golf simulator. I need to save up for that. So hopefully this, you know, I've heard some really, really good things about this. Hopefully it, it works well, but I'm gonna hit a few balls uh, and then I'm gonna test out this golf boy app and see how that goes. To Spawnia, this is obviously a Spawnia net. They've done an amazing job. I've said it a little earlier on the video, but this net makes it so accessible. It's affordable. Um, I love it, man. And I barely had it for a day. That's not a good swing. First one of the day. That's better. Let me know in the comments if you guys um, have your own swing set up at home or you know how you get your practice in to get the chance to. I'm interested. Might have to get some soundproofing in here. It is a, it does have a, and it's not the, the net, it's more my golf club snapping and the ball compressing. It's not the greatest strike. I'm gonna change to a down the line view and see what my arm looks like. See if I'm actually keeping that arm kind of as straight as possible what I'm working on at the moment so yeah 
hopefully, kind of, I, I, this is where I'd like to get to, somewhere here. I'm kind of, at the moment, I'm sort of here. So let's see. Feels weird, like I'm not gonna lie. Making any kind of swing change feels incredibly weird. But it has to be done. That's good. All right, so I'm in the Golf Boy app now. It should show up on your screen as well. As All right, it looks like it's picked up the ball, which is cool. Now, it looks like on here I can see club speed, ball speed, launch angle, carry height. Um, pretty cool. There's a lot that it actually shows on here. So let's, uh, let's hit some balls. I've got a, obviously when you set this up, make sure that your tripod's not in a place um, probably get a bigger tripod, something that can actually lean over because it's a bit dangerous, I think. So once a ball's set, you'll see on the screen there, I can, now I've got a gap wedge in my hand. So let's see what numbers I get. I'll hit a few shots here. Probably like a three quarter swing gap wedge. Let's see what that gets me. Hey, wow. That's actually really accurate. 86 meters, 79 meters of carry, uh, club head speed, doesn't seem right. Okay, let's hit a few more. I think the one thing that hitting balls into a net like this is you don't know the direction of it. Uh, oh yeah, this is really cool. It actually shows you where my club path is. Let's have a look at that. Have a look at that, where the balls hit my club. And that actually did feel quite healy. I'm really liking this. Let's keep going. Hit a few more balls. I'll hit five with my gap wedge and see what it's like at the end of it. Okay, I got that a little bit low on the face. Let's see if it picks it up. 85 meters, 76 meters of carry. Not very high. Nah, I got that really thin. It's not worth looking at. Okay, that was good. That's more like a full gap wedge. Yeah, this is really, really accurate. The only thing I would say is the club head speed doesn't look right. Okay, so I've just gone into the settings. It looks like you can actually even configure the practice ball, or let's say you're using the practice ball, a course ball, a range ball. So you can actually configure what kind of ball you're using. Uh, let's see what else I can do in here. Let's hit a few more. Sit a few more and see, see what it's like. So far, I'm getting a lot out of this. This is actually really useful. Got that thin, it's about right, 102 meters, 105, 110. There you go, so that one probably a little bit thin. So I've just hit finish report on this and you can see on the screen, uh, it's actually got some really intuitive stats on it. I'm just gonna get this out of my tripod. Some really intuitive stats. It's got launch angle. It's even got the direction of the ball, which is cool. My club head speed was consistent according to this. So it's actually got some really, really cool stats. Now if I go into smash factor. Wow, okay. Uh, I really like this. Um, this is, looks like an awesome app. It looks like it's got a maximum of 220 yards that you can hit a ball. So that's probably the limitation here. I'm gonna actually play a simulated round and see what that's like. Um, 120 centimeters, left-handed unit. Here we go. Miles per hour, that's better. 
had the unit of measure all wrong, but make sure you go into unit and fix that up. I'm going to hit play. It looks like I'm playing a par four that's 374 meters long. Uh, I have a 150 meter shot here. So let's set this back up. Does look like there's some brightness issues with this. Might be the one limitation about using this indoors. I'm not sure how it's going to go, to be honest. Okay, hit that really well, but no, it's not picking it up. Okay, that should have been hooked. That's more solid, so seven iron again. That looks pretty good. So I've got 100 meters in, so that should be my gap wedge. Let's see if this thing's accurate. Now I think probably for the best results, maybe have to use the same ball, but you know, I'm just mixing it up here. Pretty good. Wow, I made a par. Let's go, it's kind of fun. I'm just gonna keep hitting seven irons for now. Just sort of calibrate this thing a little bit. So, so hole number two, par four, 363 meters. Straight. Uh, so I hooked that right. That should be right of the fairway. And it was, awesome. I just realized I'm in a bunker and I'm trying to hit a seven iron out. So I have to get the launch angle higher. There we go. I gotta say, this thing is really accurate. This seven iron, I hit about 95 miles per hour. That was bang on, 95, 96. Anyone looking for a mobile launch monitor has an iPhone? Um, I think this is it. This is the one. All right, 79 to the pin. That was fat, should be short. Okay, double bogey. All right, as you can see, the app, it was pretty good. I found a lot of good, useful stuff in there. Uh, the simulator round works really well. I'll have to keep playing with it because the only thing that I noticed there as I was testing it out was that it didn't pick up the ball all that well. So it might be a lighting problem for me here. Um, so probably one tip, if you do want to use this indoors, make sure that it's in a well lit area. I found I kind of struggled getting the ball identified. But apart from that, nine out of 10 times, it worked really well. I use up to a six iron there and all the way through to a sand wedge and all the numbers seemed really accurate within three or four of either uh, meters, carry, distance, total distance, as well as a couple of um, miles per hour in terms of, in, in terms of club head speed. So overall, I'm really, really, really happy with that. Uh, I don't have a launch monitor, so I'm definitely going to be using this. It brings this video to an end. If you haven't already done so, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Apart from that, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.